Hey, what's going on guys? So, little update on the truck. About six months ago, I had a lifter fail on me and I started getting a misfire and a check engine light. So, that being said, I sort of had that snowball on me and I went ahead and put in a stage two Texas speed cam. And when I got the cam, I also redid my entire exhaust. <laughs> I now have Texas Speed long tube headers that then go into an X-Pipe to dual Carvin TR series. No more Black Widow neighbor hater. It was great while it lasted. I went to Carvin for the, it's all stainless and TIG for the same price point. So gonna try and I guess at first, we'll start her up right now and let you hear. have a pretty good idea of what it sounds like at idle obviously I'm sitting here I've got the patrol guys who decided to show up so I'm not gonna sit here and bang rev limiter right in front of them I feel like that's a uh, I don't know we'll find somewhere else to do it you guys should have a pretty good idea of what we're looking at at idle and obviously it sounds to me it sounds amazing and next we'll kind of get into the cab and hopefully you guys can get an idea of what the drone is like of course he's with me. So here we're still in the parking lot going out so you can kind of get an idea. The one window is down, my window is closed. So you still hear it. But I'm gonna get out right here and give her some pepper. window down um, now the windows closed so I'm gonna give it some more I'll say one of the best things I have bought are these guys right here yeah AirPod Pros and they have the noise canceling in them and that definitely it takes a lot of the tone away I guess another thing to kind of mention is with it being cammed and with deleting the cats, especially at idle and especially like a choppy idle, you get a lot of the fuel smell back in the cab. So I'm gonna throw in some clips that a guy named Dweezy took that really shows what the truck sounds like when it's ripping. <laughs> Probably the biggest question of them all is what kind of gains did I get? With that being said, I do not actually have a dyno sheet. I do daily this truck, so I went ahead and I decided the street tune was gonna be the optimum plan for me. But I can say that this thing gets the hell out of its way now. So I know I gained a solid amount of horsepower out of it. My guesstimate, based on other Gen 5 L83 motors, uh, they tend to, on a good 91 tune, put out about 380 horsepower. Or I'd say uh, 60 to 70 horsepower from the cam. Let's call it 60 to be safe. And then you add on the long tube headers as well. I'm guessing you're probably 10 horsepower. Call it 70 horsepower, 380 will be on the low 
side of what these L83s make off of a stock dyno. And you do the math right there. That's 450 horsepower it's by throwing 2,500 bucks and a cam upgrade. It says pretty good. All right, guys, that probably should sum up this video. That should get an idea of what this truck really sounds like on the pipe. And I'm gonna try and throw up some more videos. I know I'm working on one other one today that hint, hint, may have to do with that guy right there. If you guys have any other questions, you guys see anything else on the truck, if there's something I should go more into detail. Um, I know you guys can comment. I know I'm pretty good at getting back to most of those. You can either hit me up on here, you're gonna hit me up on Instagram. It's gonna be Connor LSX. I know every time I've made a video, I've had a different Instagram name. So this will be a little update to that. So with that being said, you guys have a fucking sick one.